All right, guys, we're back with, wait for it, wait for it, Theros Beyond Modern Horizons 1. Just kidding. Uh, so, uh, well, this, uh, this insanity will continue. We will, uh, we will keep cracking Modern Horizons 1 boxes on this channel. I swear to Raptor Jesus until I see boxes at, like, 300 plus because uh, at that point is when I will chicken out um, now whether whether I'm the sole proprietor and reason that these boxes continue to go up to north of $300 again uh, I do not care um, this set is criminally undervalued in my opinion and I will continue to say that until I am purple in the face and if someone doesn't like that, that's just too bloody bad. There's an ephemerate in the back, too, so you can just ephemerate yourself. Um, anyway, I don't even know if it actually matters or not. You know, people often ask me, like, do you play this? Do you do this? Do you do that? I'm like, man, I would love to take my uh, my mill deck out again that I built over... <laughs> it's almost a little shameful to admit this. I built that mill deck almost two years ago. I have not played a game of MTG with my commander mill deck. And yes, I'm that guy that has a mill deck. I'm sorry, deal with it. Um, I have not played my commander mill deck since I built it almost two years ago. Another ephemerate. Jeez. Um, and I just want to take notice of that. Like that, that is what it takes, guys. You have to be willing to give up your free time for fun things in order to make money because that is a fundamental <clears throat> fundamental reality of the world. Um, time is money, and money is time. The more time you devote, the more money you make. The more money you make, the less time you have to spend making money. It's a, it's a self-feeding cycle, kind of. So, like, the more successful you are, the better it behooves you to, uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. This card is going back up. Um, I don't know why, but it's going up a ton. Uh, it went down to, like, it was in the 20s, then it went down to the mid-teens, because I think there was, like, rumor of it being reprinted. And now it's back up, like, pushing 30, 35 bucks, I think, something like that. I need to go back and look, but I have a bunch of those, because, like, I was kind of kind of stingy on how frequently I was updating the Mythics in my shop online. I know some of you have found my TCG Player Store. Um... At some point, I'm going to link it. Um, I feel like it's shameful having a million, plus, like almost two million magic, over two million, oh shit, over two million, yeah, over two million magic cards in my house, and then having as few listed as I do. So I like shamefully like hide it, kind of, but not like not like super hide it. Um, I have like three thousand unique singles I think listed right now, and around like fifteen thousand cards total that are in like the inventory, um, and that's like a. It's like a blend of blend of bulk and singles and a few hundred cards of this, a few hundred cards of that, and a thousand cards of this, and it it went up quite a considerable bit this weekend because again, like I'm I'm kind of like on like light duty right now, so I'm really I'm being really careful. I'm not touching anyone else's assets that I have here at the house. I'm only messing with my stuff in case like you know I seize out. Ooh, Yogmoth, nice nice mythic again. In case I seize out and jack something up, you know, I don't want to break someone's slab open or slam a box across a room or drop a ten thousand dollar box of cards and then you know jack the whole thing up to hell and back. You know, there's a there's a series of unfortunate events that I would like to avoid um, generating or creating. <laughs> so um, until I'm officially given the all clear from my doctor and I'm off all my medications and stuff, um, I'm being very cognizant and careful with other people's things because again like I don't want to if I screw my stuff up whatever like it's it's my problem I broke my stuff you know not a huge deal if I mess someone else's stuff up that's bad uh, I don't want to be that guy so as annoying as it is I know some of you guys have stuff with me um I am focusing on doing the healing thing another decent mythic um doing quick recording sessions like these until I'm officially on the mend. 
Um, at which point I will go back to my regularly scheduled all aboard full ham mode. Um, and we will uh, we'll be having a good old time of it. But yeah, so um, a bit of a status update. Uh, I have acquired eight eight throne of or eight Theros Beyond Death collector boxes. Uh, we're we're halfway through the video now, so I don't mind talking about this. I've already announced it in another video. I'm sure someone will listen to this. Um, and kind of whoever's listening at this point you're welcome to join me along with this there's plenty of this product out there to go around like i'm not i'm not hiding it at this point like it's not gonna like someone would need to go sub, sub, slap, slap up a substantial amount of product and devote a substantial amount of money like saint levels of money to spiking the products that i'm currently looking at however what that does mean is that while those products may be flat um the singles in them are not which is the key point um, and why I was targeting Theros Beyond Death is because of several of the rares, a few of the mythics, there's some decent commons and uncommons in there. And it's overall, it's reached like that nice maturation age where a, ooh, it's not a bunch of those again too. Um, it's reached that age where a lot of stores no longer have a lot of the product. Um, the only things that's really floating out there now is the bulk. Um, and that set in particular has a lot of really good cards in it, and they've held value. Um, so I've been steadily acquiring it. And the other reason I've been targeting it is because the price point on the boxes is just incredible. Like, I feel like when you can pick up any MTG set right now for $80 to $85 a box on draft, especially from like that 2019 block and earlier, um, it's kind of like a no-brainer to me. Um, it has a good... Oh, God. Look at... Just, just, look at... Just look at that. What a box. It's definitely not, like, last week's box good, but this box is good. Like, it's good. Oof. Oof. It just got gooder. Oh, the gooderest of boxes. Oh, God. That's a $50 rare, by the way, on direct. Um... I just want to just want to have that be known like that's that's wild like that that card sells for as much as it does is just mind-boggling to me imposter of the sixth pride that was a that's a funny card right a regular core and imposter of the sixth pride those are both cards that I sold tons of when I was not on direct like I sold those consistently like one to five copies a week. Um, and if I didn't restock it, I would be out within a month, month and a half. Like, and I don't know why, but I have it priced up a little bit more than there. And I'm no longer moving like any of them on direct. So I don't know. It's, it's interesting. One of these days I'll take my whole, whole account off of direct again once all this stuff is sorted and I have a lot more free time and I'm ready to make those juicy, juicy margins again. But again, though, like, ah, oh, man, it just, for me, it just saves me so much time. Like, it's just a time saver thing. It's not even about, like, the, the extra 65 cents in order I can make. It's just, it saves me so much bloody time. Like, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to put a dollar amount on that time sometimes, you know? And it's just, like, one of those choices where, like, if you start packing, like, 50 to 100 orders a day like you don't really think about that but that's like two to three hours minimum of packing orders and that's like if you're quick right like if you just fly through those puppies at 90 seconds an order 50 orders is still so much time and then like god forbid you miss a day and all of a sudden you have like 100 120 orders in the backlog and you're just like oh god you know i'm not a I'm not a rocket scientist, but, you know, 90 seconds times uh, 100 is 900 seconds. Or no, 9,000? Yeah, 9,000 seconds. Jeez. Which is, uh, oof, 1,000 minutes? 12 hours of order packing? Is that right? That can't be right. That doesn't sound right. That can't be right. Okay, I'm going to stop opening cards for a second and do the math here. 90 seconds times a times okay 100 orders that's where i went wrong 
900 seconds? That doesn't sound right either. 9,000 seconds. Okay, that's right. 100 minutes. Uh, okay, I see what I did wrong. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, 1,000 minutes. Is that... Nice, man. You know what? Screw it. Whatever. I'm not going to do this math. I'm too tired. Too late at night. Whatever. It's a lot of time. Trust me. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm totally not going to turn around after this video is done. I'm totally not about to turn around with this last pack. <laughs> I can type this into a calculator on my desktop and figure it out. It's actually going to drive me nuts. Oh, man. This is what I get for trying to do math at like almost 9.30 at night while doing an opening, while uh, while trying to record. Like, this is just bad choices all around. Okay, two and a half hours. <laughs> Good lord. That math checks out. Um, two and a half hours is like how much a hundred orders takes you if you do it at 90 seconds an order, which by the way is incredibly quick. Um, but uh, that being said, now that that exhaustion is done, we've hit the end of the day. We're tired. We hit a foil force negation. We hit the non-foil force negation. There's about 50, 60, I don't know, like 70 bucks worth of mythics there. Let's see, 80, 130, 140, call it 150 up to there, 160, 65, 70, 75, I think that's about 10, 185, yeah, look at that, it's crazy, it's like, it's like it's impossible to lose money. And then like $30 for the Snowlands. Like $210. Even after feeds, I'm still up money. Like, it's just, I don't understand. Like, then all this is free, and all my foils are free, and all my tokens are free. I just don't get it, people. Whatever. Enjoy the free money. Open Modern Horizons 1. I'm telling you the truth. Be the truth. Open the truth. Anyway, guys, later. Like, subscribe, share, and support. Bye!